The land is green, it's green, oh, oh. The land is green, it's green, can't you see? I can't see, oh, the, the harvest is ready, cause he told me so. It's green and it's all mine. Joyce, welcoming you to the Elton Gardens. We are located at 3348 North Sherman Drive, Indianapolis, Indiana, 46218. Our business hours are Monday through Friday from 10 to 2.30, and then we open again around 4 and are open until about 7. Uh, this, of course, depends upon the weather, so give us a call at 317-550-0125 for availability of hours if the weather happens to be bad or if you need something special and um, you want to just find out if we have that on hand. Uh, also visit us at www.theelephantgardens.com and you can email us at egardens4, that's the number four, us, at gmail.com. We look forward to corresponding with you and at any time Please call us for a personal visit and tour of the elephant. Here you try to make your soil stronger and stronger because it's like in the immune system. The plants, if the soil is strong and nutrient rich, then the plants will be stronger and better able to fight off um, the things that try to attack it. So at the end of the day, all your energy is and all your focus ends up being on making better soil. That's like probably 95% of, of my efforts will be on making better soil. Hello, my name is Selena Tillman. I am the CEO of Crawl to Walk. We are an organization serving Central Indianapolis and what we do is empower organizations who serve underrepresented youth to provide them the resources that they need to build capacity. And uh, one of our community partners here is Elephant Garden, which that's where we are right now. And one of the programs that we have with them launching in September is our self-sustainability program. We like the term self-sustainability because it is an umbrella term. So not only will they be learning how to garden um, and how to harvest their own produce and even turn that into a business for self, but they'll also learn other in um, industries. My name is Jamal at the Elephant Garden. Here to support my grandma with growing organic food, like turkeys, tomatoes, celery, cabbage, carrots, and other good stuff. How to build your own compost box okay. out of pallets. Um, you need some. You need two hinges, some chicken wires, and five pallets, okay. and then some screws. So this one we didn't put the hooks on, so that's why we have it tied. This mm -hmm. one has cooked. So what does that mean? What it means is that in early spring, we did a one-to-one -one ratio. So we put a layer of, um, sorry, we put a layer of wood chips, and then we put a layer of the green stuff or the nitrogen, wood chips, nitrogen, wood chips, you know, back and forth, carbon nitrogen, called one-to-one -one ratio. So we did six inches of wood chips and six inches of green stuff and kitchen scraps, coffee grounds, and did that just rotated that until this was all the way full. Then we packed it down and filled it all the way up. Mm -hmm. As you see, it took all the way down. Oh, that's that's the size it went down to after exactly. it cooked. Exactly. to walk with Selena over here. I'm a board member as of now and I've been, I'm really excited to be here. I've been meaning to come here for a really long time and um, I just now got around to it. I'm here because I think it's really important for our neighbors and each other to support, to support one another and these kinds of initiatives. Um, it's, you know, like 
uh, the Elephant Garden is addressing a lot of issues that are being neglected by the um, by by like the mainstream media. She, you know, the owner was talking about how we're number one in food deserts, and that's just you know horrible. It's perfect. Um, so it's 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 great to be excited about these kinds of things. You know, I see a lot of my friends posting about oh look at these organic gardens and what they're doing with, with their communities and it's great to like cheer them on when it's happening over there but this you know these initiatives are happening here right here in your own backyard so um, I'm really excited to start promoting that here. The goal is to be able to service the community um, because we are in a food desert um, and there aren't uh, a lot of grocery stores around and you know we end up going to 71st and or 62nd and Keystone to one of the Kroger's or 10th Street to get vegetables that we don't grow and that really is crazy you know and their hives I mean you go you go get a yellow or red pepper organic at, at Kroger's two dollars and forty nine cents for one pepper um, you can buy a pack of seeds for peppers and grow you know a hundred pepper plants for that so it's it's just expensive and we're trying to be a solution for that well, my name is Mimi and I'm Pambana and <laughs> We're with the Kemper Institute, <laughs> and I'll say why I came. I came today because uh, Marion Price, the young lady who does IT and wants to teach kids, she told me about it, and Mimi will share more about our food initiative, and I was like, oh, cool, another food initiative in the community that's trying to help people get fresh, affordable foods. I want to go check it out, so that's why I'm here. Yes, sweets and... So the food program she's talking about that we do out of the Kepra Institute, uh, basically we have a community project to bring fresh food to the neighborhood that's affordable. So uh, we do it once a month. We have people from the community invest in buying a bag of fresh produce. And then once a month we purchase it from local farmers and bring it into the community and distribute it out of there. And we have a cooking demonstration and just a celebration of good healthy food. Um, I also work with the Purdue Extension on the Urban Farm Incubator Program, which is supporting new urban farmers in the city of Indianapolis. So I've seen a number of farms and been in the food work in Indy for a year now. And coming here to Elephant Gardens, I'm just blown away because it's beautiful. Um, they're 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 incorporating permaculture. Um, you know, so many different like sources of their information for how they're building this project, and it, it looks beautiful. It smells beautiful. I'm about to go home and taste how beautiful it is. So I mean, come by. This is this is an amazing project, and they're I can tell they're working really hard to serve this community. So and then we're wonderful. also looking at if we can buy from them as well to yeah. provide fresh fruits and uh, vegetables in our community. Yes. So, Vivian Muhammad and I am one of the main workers, I guess you can call me a worker bee, in the Elephant Gardens which is located at 3348 Sherman Drive and today was our open house where we invited people from the community, in the community, to come and see what we are doing here at the Elephant Gardens. One of our main goals is to grow food organically but to sell it for non-organic prices. So our community, which is considered a food desert, can benefit the most from uh, having fresh vegetables nearby grown in a healthy, organic way. And so what we did today was just give everyone that came a tour. I'm presently standing on what we call Blueberry Hill, which has kind of been overgrown with uh, watermelon and cantaloupe. But um, it was really fun. We showed them our composting techniques, our raised beds with our berries, and our vegetable gardens. And we had a lot of fun. And I welcome anyone who happens to be in the neighborhood, 3348 Sherman, to come to the Elephant Gardens. If we're not here, just uh, call us on our phone number or either visit our website, which is theelephantgardens.com. And on there, we don't have regular hours just yet, but um, because we're a small family-run operation, but hopefully in the near future we will. So look us up online or come by and see us and you'll be glad you did. Thank you.
Down in the rain as the clouds go gray The thunder roars and the earth sings The season's just beginning The sunlight it hides as the clouds make